Hey guys. Wow. All right, an amazing thing happened to me today. My teacher for my English class just sent us on a scavenger hunt. What? What? It's an online class. We we don't see each other. And here I am. I'm going on a journey. Okay, so what she did is she said I want you guys to go outside, find these things. She has like a list of things. And then we have to take pictures of them. Guess I'm going for a walk now. That's fine. Anyway, so yeah, I'm on a scavenger hunt. I have to find like, um, I gotta remember like a sign that has a T on it and a rock and a book. And you know, I have till 12.30 so. Might as well go for a walk. Yeah, so, and then we have to take pictures of those things and then we put them together in a collage and then I'm gonna write a poem about it. And I'll show you my, I'll show you my work when I'm done, obviously. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so I have to get a picture with a rock, a picture of something that's blue, and a bird. A bird, which I heard some birds, so. I'm hoping that I can find like a blue flower or something. If not, I mean, the sky is blue, so <laughs> that would work as well. I'm just gonna find my way. Like, okay, so my house is like all the way over there. And I mean, why do I say it like that? I live like a block away from the wilderness. <laughs> like I'm walking through a neighborhood and in like 10 feet, I'm gonna be in the wilderness. She's all like, are you guys down to do this? And I was like, yeah, I'm down. Of course I'm down to freaking, oh, I'm so out of breath. Hey. Oh, I made it, sort of. I'm not really wearing my walking shoes. Oh, ta-da, I made it. The wilderness. <sighs> Gotta get a better picture. <laughs> I look so dumb. There's like a bunch of people that are just chilling outside because the weather's so great. <sighs> and I was just talking to my phone. <laughs> Completely normal. Heck, get a picture of a cactus. This one looks cool. Someone just said, okay, ugh, this is hard. I can't even see anything. It's on my front facing camera. So I can't, okay. That looks good, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Gotta find the best rock. This is hard. Here it is. This is where I am. Oh, that looks so cool. I really like that. Something blue right there, baby. All right, let's find a good rock. That's a cool tree. I, mean, I bet we could find like trash. There's another person. Okay, let's do a rock. Um, oh. Okay, I also found a pine cone, which was good. I had to go into someone's yard, but it's fine. There's not really like, I mean, you can see that tree right there. That's, that has pine cones on it. Um, pine cones. I have to find a book title, something with the letter T on it. Westfield, ha ha, I got it. I don't know, is that good? Across the street. <laughs> uh, okay, a bird. I don't know if I'll be able to find a bird. I might have to sit on my porch for a while. A bird. Oh, they just hid. They just hid in the roof. Oh, I'm sweet home. I gotta find a book. A book title. Probably in my mom's room. <laughs> this book is called Poetry. 
I'm a photographer, not really, <laughs> but I have to make everything look good when I take pictures. Okay, I think just one more thing. It's the, the penny with a year on it, which <laughs> is uh, not too hard. If I have money, I don't know if I have money. This cool flag. All right, anyway. But, uh, but what do you think? Should we get a really old looking one? I don't know. I should have like a nice scenery in the back of it, don't you think? All right, let's go outside. Maybe we'll be able to find a bird. What a great view. The mountain is rad. Okay, let's try this. Okay, I'll show you the end result. This is not working. I think that's everything. I just have to find a bird. Kind of. Just wanna chill, chill with you guys, you know? Oh, hey guys, how's it going? I'm just kidding. Ah! Oh, fudge knuckles. Hey guys, how's it going? This is fun. Should we have a one-on-one -on -one session again? Hi, how are you doing today? Are you doing good? That's good. I'm glad to hear. I'm glad you're here. Maybe we just need to listen to the birds together. Well, this has been fun. I'm gonna show you what I got done. Uh, I mean, that just rhymed up. I'm so good. <laughs> All right, let me show you what I got finished. I, I mean, I did, I got a picture of the penny. I got a picture of the sign with the T. I got a picture of the book, I got a picture of something blue, and I got a picture of a rock. And then also a picture of something unexpected that you didn't think you'd find. I got quite a few of those actually. <laughs> took a picture of some purple flowers, I took a picture of some cactus, and here's what I got done. And then I also wrote a poem and I'm gonna read it to you. Okay, so I finally wrote my poem and I don't love it, not gonna lie. It's not my favorite poem I've ever written. So, I don't know, like I could read it cause it comes with the collage. I just don't like it. I don't, I didn't work very hard on it. So I decided instead I could read a different poem that I wrote that I used a lot of imagery on. So it's not the poem that I wrote for the assignment, but it's still a good poem and you've never heard it before. So for the background of this, so we were like talking about the color blue and the imagery we could use and stuff. So it's kind of an imagery poem. So I'm supposed to be describing blue, but with adjectives. So here it is, indescribable senses. <clears throat> the ocean so vast and unexplored, deep, dark delicateness swallows you whole. It houses the most mysterious creatures. 71% of the earth is ocean, 80% still undiscovered. The sky, 
a blue expanse that hides outer space. What is on the other side of its infinite blue? It changes from light to dark, the night sky like glitter and sparkles. Frostbite so cold that it burns. It sinks its teeth into your skin. It spreads through your blood and through your bones, blue like the lips in a winter storm. So that was my poetry for my imagery. And it's not the scavenger hunt poem, but it's still a good poem. So if you liked it and you liked the video, you should like it. Make sure that you subscribe because you love me. And then also, you know, comment below on other things that you want to see me do because suggestions are fantastic and I love them. Anyway, thanks so much. See you guys later.